Yeah. Like what I can see now, like uh, what somebody say, told me now recently, like uh, speaking in English, you need to make it to communicate to other people. Because, for instance, me, I want to communicate with somebody that uh, speaks French. You understand? And I, I can speak French. And the person can speak English. And I, I can only speak English. Okay. The only advantage I can see that it makes, it's, it's another means of communica communication within the environment, within the within the position you have. Because uh, it's an advantage also. Because if you are in the position with your, your your people from your own country that you can communicate very well, it's fine. But going to another country, I have to communicate with them. You can't speak your own language. Okay. They didn't hear your language, I don't hear their own language. But so the, for means of communication, yeah. it's through that English. No, but look at the fact here. Our languages are dying. If you go to Europe, the only country that speaks English as its main language of communication is the UK. So if 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 speaking if speaking the language throughout is good, why the whole Europe has not adopted English as the main language of communication? Because why the whole Europe has not adopted French as the main language of communication? Because look at in Africa, some part are French. Some part are English, some part are Portuguese, some part are Spanish. So how do those parts communicate? How do the French, the part that speaks French only, communicate with the part that speaks Portuguese only? How do the part? So the point here is uh, the whole perception that it makes it easy for us to communicate is an illusion. Because if you and me met in Russia and we don't speak the same African language, we'll be using Russian. You got the point? So it means if uh, Sotho was the main language of communication in South Africa, if we if we don't speak the main uh, the same African language, we're gonna use Sotho because we are in South Africa. It is the main language of communication. So the perception that uh, it is helping us uh, wrong, it is actually giving power to the colonizers to enslave our brains. Why do we feel inferior generally? Why do we see them as uh, superior generally? It is the information they put in our brains using their languages. So will you accept to feel inferior so that you can communicate uh, with uh, uh, somebody uh, so-called uh, so because of English? No, you got the point. And then many people that come from uh, Gabon learn English here yeah, because this country main language of communication is English. English if yeah. it was Sutu, they would be learning Sutu. Yeah, because for instance now, there's a, some girls that I met in South Africa and some guys, yeah. from, they are from, uh, Congo, from, from Congo. Yeah. And uh, they don't know how to speak English very yeah. well. Yeah. I will ask them to speak English. Ah, English is my problem. Yeah. And so okay, from, from there, yeah. they got to understand English because mixing with people yeah. and communicating with people, and they, they communicate with English. Exactly. So gradually, they are learning English yeah. gradually. So the, yeah, exactly. They're gonna learn. Obviously, everybody that uh, gonna learn, if they're gonna stay here for a while, they're gonna learn. Yeah. So the perception that uh, those languages serve us is wrong because yeah. look at how European uh, have control over us. Yeah, yeah. We have their names. Yeah. They don't have our names. Our names are dying. We speak their languages. Our languages are dying. We generally feel yeah. superior. They own our economy, natural resources. You find the brown Africans who put chemical to try and to look pink. You find our women now ashamed of their own hair, putting plastic. They even walk around hitting their head because it's too itchy. The, the Europeans decide our future by putting things in our brain, through school, through the media. Yeah. We are lost. Yeah, we don't even know our real past. So how can these languages bring us progress because or, or benefit? If we had benefit, we will be at least our own masters. Yeah. Europeans speak about giving us aid. What aid they give us if they could own our economy and natural resources? The evidence they own our economy is the fact that almost everything we consume today is produced by them. It means our economy, the money goes to them. They make us unproductive. Because if you look at, for example, in South Africa, it is Africans doing all the job, Af uh, all the hard work. Europeans don't work. If you go into the construction, in the mines, yeah, everywhere, yeah. Europeans just cash in for doing nothing, just for being a uh, pink. So how can we say the, the languages are benefiting us? Yeah, it's an but, illusion. Yeah, but the only thing I could see that if uh, uh, some other countries yeah. where they speak English, yeah. even though they speak no, languages uh, that colonize them, no, what I, I think the government should do is that uh, they should impose the language to be official also. Yeah. So if they, make the, if they impose it to be official also, maybe it can help the language to be coming up. Ac ac actually, actually, we benefit nothing from European languages. The evidence is our conditions. Mm. Our general condition as a people is evidence that those languages don't benefit us because language is the basis of communication. Yeah. And uh, uh, human function men rely on communication. So for you to, to uh, for you to, to uh, let's say, to learn how to uh, cut hair, you need to uh, look or see people explain to you how it works. 
how to do things. So for us to progress, it is just information. So those languages are today what we rely on for education, for things. But where are we? Our behavior is just shaped by the information we consume. So definitely, okay, uh, 